Windows 11 23 H2 Features Update Hey folks, guess what's cooking in the Windows 11 world? The 23 H2 update is on the horizon and it's bringing some cool new features. This might be the grand finale for Windows 11 updates as there's a sneaky suspicion that a fresh operating system is lurking around the corner. Exciting, right? Well, we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled and see what Microsoft has up its sleeve. Hey guys, we've got Windows 11 23 H2 here and we're about to check out what's new and what's on the way in the upcoming update. So, we're running 23H2 and I'll walk you through some of the key features. Let's dive into what's new in 23H2. First up, let's open Explorer. When you hover over items and click on details, you'll get more info about them. They've also added the share button. Clicking on it lets you search for people or email addresses to share the file with. It's pretty simple. You can turn on nearby share and send it through your usual email clients or Outlook. Those are the main options listed. Also, check out the rounded search boxes. They've softened the edges, making them look less square and more rounded throughout Windows 11. Moving on to the next section below the home area, they're planning to introduce more features related to images and such. We'll get into the specifics when it's officially rolled out. However, they're bringing in this gallery feature. It's a spot in File Explorer where you can check out your photos. You can set it up for your phone photos, add folders, and organize things. It seems like you'll need an account for this one, so you'll have to set that up. On the other hand, for the other one, it looks like you can just click on it and add your folders, easy peasy. Whatever folders of photos you want to view, you can toss them in there and browse through them. Now, let's check out the much-awaited audio feature. They've added this new audio area down here and guess what? It includes a volume mixer. This is something folks have been asking for and Microsoft has finally delivered it in this feature update. When you click on it, it takes you to this area where you have the volume mixer right at your fingertips. A lot of folks have had concerns and issues with volumes and some resorted to using third-party tools but fear not. This is the latest feature update making its way to you soon. Now, let's talk about personalization in your settings, specifically in the background image area. You can set this to Windows Spotlight. What that does is pretty cool. It changes your desktop wallpaper every day, giving you a fresh look just like the one we have here. It rotates through these wallpapers for you. You can also add a folder with all your favorite wallpapers and that will cycle through as well. It's not anything super fancy and brand new, but it's a neat feature using Windows Spotlight to switch up your backgrounds. In the personalization area, we've got some cool additions. First off, there's a dynamic lighting adding a bit of flair. Then, there's the effects section with options like breathing, rainbow, wave, wheel, and gradient. If you're feeling creative, you can even pick your own color by toggling the switch and choosing from the color palette. This is all about your lighting and RGB, though how it'll work with various devices remains to be seen. We'll have to wait and see what Microsoft has in store for that, but that's the lowdown on that feature right there. Now, let's explore another feature in your settings. Head over to Accounts. To use this one, you need to be signed into your Microsoft account and it's called Passkey. Essentially, if the website supports Passkey, you can use it without typing any passwords. This handy feature will be making its way to 23H2. Now, let's talk about the updates in Paint. You can now switch it to Dark Mode and they've added some cool features like layers and a handy Remove Background option. Where it is, they might also toss in a blur tool but I can't confirm that 100%. We'll have to wait and see. Now, don't go thinking it's about to replace Photoshop. It's just a paint app with a few extras. The Remove Background feature is neat but it might not be as spot on as dedicated online tools. For example, it did a decent job here removing the black background but left a bit of a frosty edge and took out the flower the butterfly was on. It works but it's not super precise. Oh, and a quick bonus, Windows 11 is making life simpler by having native support for 7-zip and WinRAR. No need to install extra software to unzip those files, they've got you covered. Snipping tool has also gotten a little upgrade. Now, you can not only take screenshots but also record your screen with video. It's handy for quick snippets like capturing part of a video or grabbing an image. It's a free tool built into Windows but keep in mind it won't replace more advanced options like OBS especially if you need audio. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to support audio capture. Now, let's move on and explore some other exciting things that are on the horizon. A big upcoming feature that's generating buzz is the AI implementation called Copilot in Windows. This means you can use it directly on your Windows system without going online. However, there's a catch. You'll need to be signed into your Microsoft account to access it. Now, for those comfortable with signing in, this might not be a big deal. But there are folks who prefer local accounts and are a bit paranoid about signing in. For them, these added features might be seen as bloat and they could be on the lookout for ways to disable or turn them off. 
It's a trade-off between convenience and privacy, and this is becoming a common theme in the new additions to Windows 11. Some will embrace it, while others may choose to opt out. Now, let's talk about changes to the taskbar behavior. If you head into taskbar settings and then go to taskbar behaviors, you'll find a neat feature called Combine Taskbar Buttons and Hide Labels. Enabling this lets you have a cleaner look on the taskbar, especially if you set it to always. The labels for folders won't be cluttering up the taskbar, making it easier to manage and close individual folders. There's another nifty trick you can enable. Head to the system settings and look for Developer. Inside, you'll find something called End Task. Toggle that switch on, and what it does is pretty cool. You can now end the task on all those items in one go. If you have multiple folders open, you can quickly close them all or just one at a time. They've changed the name from End Task to Close All Windows when you right-click on the item, but it served the same purpose, closing all the windows at once. It's a handy feature for those who like to keep their workspace organized. The Windows Backup feature is another addition, but as you might have guessed, to use it, you need to be signed into a Microsoft account. They seem to be pushing for Microsoft account sign-ins across various features, including this one. The backup covers folders, apps, settings, and other items like credentials. However, when you click on the backup option, it prompts you to sign into your Microsoft account. So, if you prefer using a local account, these features might seem a bit inconvenient. It's an upcoming addition in the next few months, but the requirement for signing in might be a sticking point for some users. That's Microsoft's approach for you. Moving on to the system settings and storage, they've introduced a new feature related to virtual machines. If you navigate to Disks and Volumes, you'll see options to create or attach a VHD. You can easily give it a name, choose a location, and set it up. This is a handy feature for those interested in virtual machines or virtual environments. The best part, you don't need to be signed in to use it. Additionally, they've added a VPN icon. When you're connected to a VPN, you'll see an icon in the bottom right corner of the screen providing a clear indicator that you're on a VPN. These features, along with the others mentioned, are part of the upcoming Windows 11 23H2 update. It's great to see Microsoft continually adding and enhancing features for users. And there you have it folks, the Windows 11 23H2 update brings a wave of exciting features and improvements to enhance your computing experience. From a sleeker interface to powerful productivity tools, Microsoft has once again raised the bar. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the latest Windows 11 update. Stay tuned for more tech updates and tips. Until next time, and I'll see you on the next one.